global controls will have to be imposed, and a world governing body will be created to enforce them. Crises precipitate change. <laughs> Secretly plotting your device. I want to devise a bio. Hello everyone, Darko2012 here with Global Government News, and I'm covering an article from February 8th, 2010. But it is gonna make a lot of sense. It's gonna make a lot of sense when I get to the article the title of this video. So um, but look at what it says here. How Goldman Sachs helped Greece to mask its true debt. And it says Goldman Sachs helped the Greek government to mask the true extent of its deficit with the help of a derivatives deal that legally circumvented the EU uh, Maastricht, Maastricht, not sure if I pronounced that right, uh, deficit rules. At some point, the so-called cross-currency swaps will mature and swell the country's already bloated deficit. says here, uh, creative accounting took priority when it came to totting up uh, government debt. Since 1999, the Maastricht rules threatened to slap hefty fines on Euro member countries that exceeded the budget deficit limit of 3% of gross domestic product. The uh, total government debt mustn't exceed 60%. And it says here, around 2002 in particular, various uh, investment banks offered complex financial products with uh, which governments could push part of their liabilities into their future. Uh, one insider recalled adding that Mediterranean countries had snapped up such products. And it says Greece, Greece's debt managers agreed a huge deal with the savvy bankers of the U.S. investment bank Goldman Sachs at the start of 2002. The deal involved so-called cross-currency swaps in which government debt issued in dollars and yen was swapped for euro debt for a certain period to be exchanged back into the original currencies at a later date. And of course this is the same investment bank that um, that um, was betting against the housing market, betting that it would go that it would go bust, while telling everybody and recommending everybody to get into the housing market. So, um, yeah. And just finish up on this uh, article here. It says at some point Greece will have to pay up for its swap transactions, credit default swaps, and derivatives markets. You know, just fiat crap, right? And uh, and it says, and that will Im impact its deficit. The bond maturities uh, range between 10 and 15 years. Goldman Sachs charged a hefty commission for the deal and sold the swaps onto a Greek bank in 2005. The bank declined to comment on the controversial deal. The Greece Finance Ministry did not respond to a written request for comment. So here in uh, February 2010, who would the uh, Greeks hire? Uh, for their debt cheat, jet chief, uh, none other than the Goldman Sachs banker, former Goldman Sachs banker. Yes, uh, this is right, people. February 22nd, 2010. So, it says, Greece replaced its debt management chief with a former Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated investment banker. Uh, as declines in the country bonds uh, royal European markets. So, maybe he's uh, here to... Uh, uh, manage their new asset, right? They're they're accepting, going into receivership here, to the corporation, uh, Petros, and uh, these uh, Greek names are hard to pronounce. So I'm just gonna say Christo, Petros Christo, uh, took over from Spiros uh, P at the head of the Athens-based public debt management agency. The finance ministry said yesterday in an email. Uh, Christo held positions in global markets at Credit Suisse Group AG, Goldman Sachs, and J.P. Morgan Chase. That's the whole gang, right? Before joining National Bank of Greece in 1998. Uh, it says, the incoming guy is walking into a tough mandate, said Charles uh, Diebel, senior interest rate strategist. And uh, he said, such is the sentiment towards Greece at the moment. A new broom could be a positive. It says Greek bonds have slumped in the past two months, driving yields to the highest in 10 years on concerns the government will struggle to narrow a budget deficit that is uh, more than four times the EU's limit. It says, uh, moving down here, it says change of government. Uh, Papinkolaou, a former central bank official, was appointed general director of the debt office by the previous uh, New Democracy government in 2005. His predecessor, 
Uh, Christopher Sardellis held the role since 1999 when the organization was created, and he says, I am stepping down. Uh, he said in a telephone interview yesterday, it's a, it is normal that a new government changes staff, he said. It's a long tradition. Whether it's good or not, that's another story. And it said uh, Christel is a member of the Foundation of Economic and Industrial Research, and he holds a Bachelor of Science from the Athens School of Commerce, and it said it's a challenging job, and we're going to have a very difficult, difficult period. So there you go, former Goldman Banker as debt chief. And while we're on the whole uh, uh, debt, uh, Greek debt crisis, I thought, I thought I'd throw this in here because FT.com, FinancialTimes.com, has some great articles, uh, insightful articles, and it says uh, it's titled A Greek Crisis is Coming to America, and this is from February 10th, 2010. And um, it says, it began in Athens, it is spreading to Lisbon and Madrid, but it, uh, it would be a grave mistake to assume that the sovereign debt crisis that is unfolding will remain confined to the weaker Eurozone economies, for this is more than just a Mediterranean problem with a farmyard acronym. It is a fiscal crisis of the Western world. Its ramifications are far more profound than most investors currently appreciate. There is, of course, a distinctive feature to the Eurozone crisis because of the way the European Monetary Union was designed. There is, in fact, no mechanism for a bailout of the Greek government by the EU, other member states, or European Central Bank. True, Article 122 may be invoked by the European Council to, to assist a member state that is, quote, seriously threatened with severe difficulties caused by natural disasters or exceptional occurrences beyond its control, uh, end quote. But at this point, nobody wants to pretend that Greece's yawning deficit was an act of God, nor is there a way for Greece to de devalue its currency as it would have done in the uh, pre-EMU days of the drachma. There is not even a mechanism for Greece to leave the Eurozone. It goes on to say that uh, that leaves just three possibilities. One of the most excruciating fiscal squeezes in modern European history, reducing the deficit from 13% to 3% of uh, GDP within three years, outright default on, uh, on all or part of the Greek government's debt, or most likely, as signaled by the German officials on Wednesday, some kind of bailout led by Berlin. Because none of these options are very appealing, and because any decision about Greece will have implications for Portugal, Spain, and possibly others, it may take much uh, much horse trading before one can be reached. It says, uh, yet uh, the idiosyncrasies uh, of the Eurozone should not distract us from the general nature of the fiscal crisis that is now afflicting most Western economies. Call it the fractal geometry of debt. The problem is essentially the same from Iceland to Ireland to Britain to the U.S., it comes in widely differing uh, sizes. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to get to all this, but I will post the link, and hopefully you'll be able to get up in there and check this out. said, uh, for the world's biggest economy, the U.S., the day of reckoning still seems uh, reassuringly remote. The worse things get in the Eurozone, uh, the more the U.S. dollar rallies as nervous investors park their cash in a safe haven of American government debt. This effect may persist for some months, just as the dollar and treasuries rallied in the depths of the banking panic in late 2008. Said, yet even a casual look at the fiscal position of the federal government, not to mention the states, makes, uh, makes a uh, nonsense of the phrase safe haven U.S. government debt is a safe haven the way Pearl Harbor was a safe haven in 41. Even according to the White House's new budget projections, the gross federal debt will exceed 100% of GDP in, the, uh, in just two years' time. This year, like last year, the federal deficit will be around 10% of GDP. And it says uh, the long-run projections of the Congressional Budget Office, CBO, suggest that the U.S. will never again run a balanced budget. That's right, never. And so you have the IMF recently publishing estimates of the fiscal adjustments developed economies would need to make us uh, may, would make to restore fiscal stability over the decade ahead. Worst were Japan, the UK, and uh, then came Ireland, Spain, and Greece at nine percent, and then sixth place, step forward America, which would be need to tighten fiscal policy by eight point eight percent of GDP to satisfy the IMF. So, uh, like I said, there you go, everybody. That's that was uh, almost to the end but uh yeah but uh thank you for checking this out just thought i'd throw this uh article in here with the other ones as far as uh goldman sachs taking on the little uh debt manager uh chief in greece so thanks